So if you are trying to get this kind of effect on your vertical video to make it into a horizontal video, I am here to show you how to do that with Filmora. The first thing I would suggest doing is going through your video and making sure it's completely edited how you want it to be. Next, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to the export button here and you're going to want to create the video. I'd suggest using the higher recommendation and then I am using a vertical video so it doesn't have to be horizontal at this point. I'd suggest keeping it vertical because it makes it easier to edit at this stage. Then you want to just export this. This step might take a while, so I'd suggest stepping away from your computer and taking a little bit of a break. So now that that is done, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to close out of this, close out of Filmora, and then open a new project here. Next, you're going to want to import the media from that. So I know that is on my old file. We got final videos here. So as you can see, here it is right here. So we're going to open that. And I'm just going to say no for that and then open it like this. And then I would suggest matching the media like that. So now that you have the media in Filmora, what you're going to want to do next is go over here and click change project ratio. You're then going to want to change this to widescreen right here. And I'd suggest doing it 4K if your video is in 4K, then push OK. As you can see, we now have the black background here showing us that it is now in the widescreen position. Next, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to come over to our video, click on it, and then Command C and then Command V. This is basically going to make a copy, as I'm sure you know. We're then going to want to drag these over top each other, and you're actually going to want to put one two above the other, just like this. So they are now stacked upon each other. Next, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to the bottom one and right click on that. This will open up these options where you're going to do crop to fit. As you can see, this is already starting to look a little bit more like we want it to. Next, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to double click the normal way on the bottom video and then scroll down until you get to opacity. Here, I'd suggest setting it to 80. However, you can play with this after you're done. As you can see, it's a little bit less visible and a little bit more in the background now. Now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to go over to effects and you're going to want one called square blur right here. We're then going to drag this down here, put it there, and then put it as far as our video is. Next, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to double click on that. And I would suggest making the size about nine. However, you can again play with this setting. Now, as you can see, this is looking exactly how we want it to look. And after we're done rendering it, it should look really good. So now that it's done rendering, we can go ahead and check it out and see if this is how we like it. As you can see, this is a much more professional way of making your videos show up as a widescreen. Thank you for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video.